I have the answer. Victor's still available. Oriana, oh! is it gonna happen? Am Finally, I okay? someone, uh, someone's an LS fan, uh, I think. Um, close up, hovering it. The classic anti Annie pickup here. And before he just was like, nah, and then just locks. And then locks in Victor. <laughs> yeah. uh, it will be the Ariana. So finally, the Varus Caitlin get onto the rift here for game number one. Um, but pretty relentless is Liv Sandbox down here, as you could expect. And this is what I was talking about with Wukong too, when this lane becomes self-sustaining, you send him topside, and you actually try to make some plays for the Jacks, and maybe you get a kill on the Gangplank early. Oh, ho, ho, ho. ow. Yeah, it's really starting to hurt. His Peacemaker is going to come through, not looking very peaceful. With that bottom lane pushing in their favor so often, certainly is a good thing, but this could be a problem, as Closer is going to throw down the Shockwave. There's the flash forward, flashing answer from uh, Fiesta immediately. As uh, Sylvie is now going to go back home again. But this turret is likely to be just dead. Yeah, and uh, Vital is probably dead too. Yeah. You know, Sejuani just leaves him out to dry too. He's just down here by himself. Yep, Closer is going to come in and uh, he manages to get an assist because he shielded Envy. Feels good. Well, that's the whole turret. First brick and all the plates here are obviously somewhat split, but still you'll take it. You have that early oh, ghost plate. Really you know, almost like Ocean's Eleven, like, I'm gonna drop this Herald, we got it placed, like, maybe we can get some money. Well, uh, and yeah, it does get a charge, so a bit of money does go over. <laughs> Gentlemen, he is just, no matter the game state, just having a good time. Shockwave gonna come down in the mid lane, and uh, Fiesta's is gonna have to flash one more time. Closer still has his, not a lot of mana to work with, though. As Live Sandbox are gonna collect their seventh plate here for their bottom lane. Vital picks the gap in between those, but look at this, man. Like, it's, this is the snowball that you have to go for with this one. As Chains of Corruption are going to go max range and land. The heal comes through as it might be a bait. Cannon Barrage comes in. Cyclone going to miss onto Vital, who does have a flash available. And Willa looking to try and get out of there. Slowed by the Winter's Wrath, but there is just no response. There's no answer. And there's been yes, one so. kill in this game, yeah. but the lead is still so big. Getting any little bit of help is certainly a good thing as Dundon looking to try and lock down Bertle here. Let's see whether he can get out of it. The bear is going to be dropped on top of him. Dodge that, I guess, is the answer. As Permafrost comes in, Fiesta goes golden. Nongshim is going to successfully dive. Now, looking at the mid lane, I mean, like, yes, that looked good bottom lane, but uh, that's just in isolation. What about the top lane? Yeah. Um, where Closer gets a whole turret. They're going to get second Herald here. So Bertol just is given the command, like, you are going to die for us to get more money as closer. Die well, eating. good Bertle. Yeah, and I, I, I'm not saying that I think they will win that, but catching Orion is a good start. Yep, there's the Glacial Prison. Closer, let's see whether he can get out of this one. Does still have Flash. There's Dissonance for the move speed as the Flash hold comes in. Shockwave is a hula hoop, unfortunately, for Closer. And that is going to be the Annie locking down the kill. Flash held by Closer here. Hard to wrap over here. Fiesta has Flash Tibbers, I mean, it's so far away. It's gone. This this Baron just belongs to, to Live Sandbox now as Cannon Barrage comes in. Yep, Score is uh, looking on. He's like, he shivered for a moment, but it is not going to be a problem. Closer still getting taken down relatively low, but look at this. Defensive play from Live Sandbox as Willa able to get over that wall with the Playful Trickster, and the heist is just done. Like, Nong Nongshim had no response, and now... Live Sandbox are in a commanding position. We thought that it had stagnated a small yeah, the, amount of time. And, the and then it was uh, then the game feels like now it's just just impossible to play. Okay, maybe walk get a pick. here. Okay, let's see whether they can lock this one down. Closer. Once again gonna be caught out as Fiesta is gonna go gold and getting value out of that Zonia's really nicely. Cannon Barrage perfectly positioned. As the cyclone comes in, Dundon, he eats oranges. What the hell? That was absurd, the barrel, and he's just baiting them. Bertle eventually picks up the kill, but look at this. It's an ace. You thought that you'd caught Captain Nongshim, <laughs> and you did not until the very end, but it doesn't matter. It's well, still an now, ace. I mean, you, you could have just played this more passively. You were never going to get an inhibitor. Does still have traps and things like that, and look, Sandbox, they still have close. The Orianna can be fantastic in these team fights. There's the flash counter strike. Let's see whether it's going to be enough. Vital gets over the wall as Fiesta. He gets in there. True Shot Barrage does a whole lot of work as Shockwave is massive, but it's not enough damage. Nongshim lose no one. How did that even happen? And now the bear comes down onto Willa. He dives forward. Peter is now having to get out of there. He flashes. And that is the first kill that's onto the jungler. As Lip Sandbox just come over. It is going to be Soul Point. But is that going to be enough? There's the flash bear. Oh my god, the Caitlyn just evaporates. The Baron is going to be secured here by Willa. 
But still, they do lose their support. Will is now in trouble. Nice Arctic Assault, and that's going to mean the Vital can get the follow-up kill. Still, Sylvie is going to die. And it's not exactly the cleanest play here from Nongshim. Yeah, just really Dark sloppy. Wave. A lot of value as the Annie is just... She's so tanky, guys. I mean, she's just... I don't know, man. Annie's, Annie's so weird these days. Yeah, well, I mean, she's got the shield, right? And she has, obviously, the Zonias that she built a long time yeah. ago. So it's just very difficult to kill her. As we're going to aim for this one. All right, let's see. Catch anyone on spawn? No. Nah, that sadly. was a weird move. But uh, Dindin really did uh, tell him a bit of a story last time around. As Sylvie might be caught out. Does throw an ultimate as there's the shockwave. But he runs so fast. What is that? Okay, well, they're going to be fine. Cannon Barrage does come out, though. That's good news for Liv Sandbox. Means it can't hit them in the head uh, later down the line. They do get a couple of summoner spells. As Sylvie can't be caught out like that, but he's got a GA. That could be disastrous here. As Chains of Corruption come in, Fiesta's going to go golden. But uh, Kyle getting over that wall gets the trap down, and Fiesta's going to flash. Okay, Bertle finds himself into the back line. Fiesta will be taken down. True Shot Barrage, that's massive value onto four. As Angry Tibbers, not going to quite be enough. Vital, you need to be the hero here, but it looks like it's going to be three Drakes apiece at the end of this one. Yeah, Vital just not willing to chase further over this wall. Bertol is still here. They could actually close the door on Nongshim if they try to push through any further. It is going to be three drakes apiece. Bertol just going to take the hex gate out of here. Pushing Bertol away as now they feel like they've cleared the vision enough here to where they could take this. Willer, no flash, but does have Trickster. God, this is going down so low. But oh, the steal from Willer! Willer every time! Every time! Every this time. is why they didn't want to start it. Cannon Barrage coming in, but he's already dead. Shockwave lands onto two, is now vital. He's the one that has to carry this fight. Kyle is chasing after him. The Qs are landing as Fiesta. He throws down the bear, and Vital's going to take down the support. Not exactly the target that you're looking for here. As Dundon and Sylvie, can you protect your AD carry? The answer is absolutely not. And Nongshim, oh, no, it was all going I mean, their way. Give, we okay. We're grouped around another objective, guys. I wonder who's going to be able to take it. See whether Sylvie can stand up to this one. Hextech Soul is actually just massive. The ball needs to be respected. Sylvie locks it down. So they lose the Baron, but they get themselves the Drake. Tibbers goes into the air, though. Still closer, caught off to the side. Vitals ganking the Oriana, and she's dead. Remember, no Zonias was built. And now Dindon is fighting against Bertle. He's going to have to flash away, and Bertle dives on in. He has to flash out, though, afterwards. Vital. What a ridiculous fight is Vital is going to be able to find one of them. The arrow is going to connect, though, as Envy locks down that final kill. Not a lot of juking and jiving space in that show point. It looks like Bertle is going to get away here, or will he? Yeah, three each on both sides as Dindon. Yeah, that, that will put us, if that Elder spawns, it will put us to the longest game of the season. Yeah, as Envy is going to be able to eat the ult, and Shockwave comes in. Explosion! Oh no, flipping an objective into Willem. That's, that's where we're at right now, as Closer gets the orb into the brush. Fiesta has a big old shield. Now going to blast cone his way over Bertle, looking for that flank angle. We've seen Jaxxas find this one before. He does get interrupted, but now can they find any more? Envy immediately cleanses the Glacial Prison as Bertle just wants Peter. Vital throws everything at him, and the kitchen sink is now closer and Envy together. Shockwave lands, but only onto the Ezreal, and Dundun is looking to clean up. No one's dead. I think Liv Sandbox are, are doomed, oh. though. They've got oh, no way to this. Yeah. Bertle is going to try to do something, and he's the first one to go down in this fight with air quotes. 40 seconds, guys. Yeah. Um, that, that, that's, that's how long non, uh, Live Sandbox have to, have to hold on. Right now, though, it's looking real dangerous as there's another beautifully placed cannon barrage. Kyle, he's burning and he's going to be taken down. The gangplank able to get that one. Envy's also dead. And Nongshim after 51 minutes. I think they've done it, Atlas. I think they have finally done it. Oh my goodness, this is such a marathon. And it's been so difficult for this team to actually win a game all season. This game has been so hard as Dindon is going to get taken down to the GA. Willa will be taken out as there's no more Elder, but it doesn't actually matter. The celebration on the Nexus now for Nongshim as they'll take down Liv Sandbox. They're used to having to just weather through all of these games that are so difficult. This time they just said no. They're like, no, we're not going to stand for that. This time, like Dundun, we saw him the entire game. Just a god on that top side of the map. And yes, just sir. chilling out. It was as if he was telling his team like, no guys, we got this at 52 minutes.
He's going to be playing the Jax this time around. So no Gangplank this time, but still a really strong split-pushing win condition here. You have a Sejuani. Can play a little bit more around top side here. And bottom, like we said last time, you can stave the pressure off for a little while, depending on how those Karma Qs hit or don't hit. And then eventually, the Varus Caitlyn will start to get control. But there is a window of time here. Show us the devastation that Noodles can bring. Let's get under the rim. Now it is real. They come. There's the flash. Really nicely done there. Reading the fact that Sylvie was going to do that. And now Willa, he's coming forward. 2v2 in this mid lane. The frost armor goes down. And it looks like Jungler is just going to be here to uh, sort out these mini waves and make sure everything is okay. Another backflip connects. Fiesta actually playing this quite well outside of some awkwardness at the very beginning. Yeah, certainly. Willa going to help hold this wave here for closer. And, uh, you know, I mean, this was played well by both junglers, actually, and the read was great there from Closer. If he does not flash as well as he did, he might be dead. But it's a flash trade. Willer's still having his. Fiesta losing his early on in the game, so you still feel pretty good about this as Dundin's coming down. Yep, Chains are going to land, though, and there's no flash, remember? Into the Shroud goes Fiesta, and Dundin's like, all right, well, if you can't, if you can't fix this lane, then I'm going to come here and help you as, all right, uh, there's the flash forward. Oh, the backflip! It's going to connect as Fiesta. Um, where are we going, buddy? Uh, I think he's dead. And there he goes. All right. That is do Willa not the kill. do not adjust the antennas on your TV sets. This is <laughs> not a solo queue stream. This is not uh, <laughs> challengers for, uh, for for the record. This is the LCK. Um, and uh, okay, Peter. All right. And there's a drive by ignite onto Envy. He's taken down to about 200. Oh, vital. Does he have Arcane Ship? There it is. The heal comes through. Can he find the Q? He can. And now Kyle's in trouble. Vital, can you lock this one down? There they go. The double kill in the bottom lane for Nongshin. Yeah, maybe. Um, but it was also a bit of a dire situation. He didn't have a lot of health. Here on the bottom side, though, this was a large stack of minions. And Vital sneaking that one Q forward. Yeah, that was crazy that that actually hit like that. That's actually what wins it for them is Kyle wants to get that extra Q off. Interrupted. Good heal, though, just in case. What are you going to do? <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, the Nongshim, this was moments before the Nongshim staff saw the CS score. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is still not great, but hey, it's a lot better uh, than it was. Fiesta is also dead uh, as we come back to live. Um, so it's it's hard to, it's hard to work out. They're going to get a Drake out of this. Fiesta has level 6. They don't okay. leash that too hard. They're going to get a Drake out of this. Yep, yeah, does go down. So there it is. Um, and, you know, the kills going down in that bottom lane doesn't change how Varus works. So this is what happened here. Is taking a backflip you shouldn't be taking. And uh, <laughs> he thought he'd broken the chains, I think. Yeah. Um, Where the gold is is more significant here. Bird all. Yeah, there's Counter-Strike here from Ooh. Dundon. Does uh, get the stun as everyone's sort of stunning each other, but here's Willa. Really nice timing here from the Vice, saving the game, honestly, for Live Sandbox right now. It really is. <laughs> All right, so how do you feel about other Here Comes songs, like the Speed Racer theme? Here he oh. comes, here comes Speed Racer. I'm a huge fan of Speed Racer. Don't you worry about that. As Fiesta, he's in his shroud. He's a big fan of that as well. As All right, that is not the one we were looking for as far as the Glacial uh, Prison is concerned, as Fiesta's going to burn down. That is more Ignite value here for Closer. And now uh, Sandbox have taken quite a substantial gold lead here. Oh, Envy trying to fight this one back against Peter, who went very aggressive. He has to flash for it. The heal comes out, though, and Vital may have baited him. In the meantime, we've got another battle in the mid lane. It's Closer. He's going to get taken down by the Winter's Wrath as Envy sniped out by Vital. Clean! And suddenly two more kills go back to the side of Nongshim. Actually able to outplate the uh, Ezreal Kama. And Dundun has just given up on winning against this Gnar. He's like, I'm just going to help win mid. He's like, I'm on Team Fiesta. Yeah, I'm going mean, mid lane. What's the laning phase, man? Yeah, Dundun's not about that. Who cares? Plates are falling, you know? <laughs> Envy dodges this and then hits the Q. Root comes through, but Peter's like, I am. So fast on Karma, the heal comes through, and then Envy is punished. As I got scared by that pip coming up, but it's just a top lane that's sitting back doing nothing. Great Q there from Vital, walks past the minions. Yep, Bertle did have to flash, and eventually they will get there, you know. Where there is, I'm just gonna keep to myself. Uh, is Okay, uh, now closer. this Jax yeah, is uh, going to be fighting him. The Ignite goes down as Dundon flashes, but so does Closer, and just picks up the Solo Bolo. 
Okay. That's All a lot right. of traps here. Sylvie's kind of, he's in the pen. He's in the pen now. He's still trying to fight this one out. Envy. In goes Fiesta as Envy going to avoid the backflip, but he can't avoid the prison. And Fiesta's going to pick up that kill, the Blast Cone. Not going to quite work out here for the Akali as he gets out. There's a cease and desist. And uh, they asked him nicely, and he said, yep, uh, I will definitely stop. As Peter, not going to get slowed down by the house. And a lot of poke with this. Yeah, Bertle's going to come on over. I don't know about that. He is mini now, as there's the Glacial Prison, but Chains of Corruption are going to connect onto Vital. Wow, that burst damage is just insane. Not quite enough to take him all the way down as Fiesta's looking for the overextension. Can he get in onto Willa here as he dives into the back line and just dies? This game is out of control. <laughs> Sylvie's caught now. Yeah, he's uh, very fast, Piggy. Uh, as Bertle's going to throw a house at him. Once again, this tower is still up. So um, Sylvie's going on an adventure. <laughs> See how Sylvie's adventure is going to go. Cut the video. Cut the video. Cut the video. Cut the video. It's, it's fine. <laughs> um, he just went home. He just recalled between the turns. Yeah, basically. he just, yeah. He, he, he yeah. Kind of. He does have his wall boxes. Uh, Vital, Ace in the hole comes in. Cease and desist going to be there. Vital shields himself a little, but he's going to get punched back. And now Closer is looking to take the ball for a walk. The flash does come through to avoid that. And now uh, Fiesta is in a lot of trouble. I feel like I've been saying that quite a lot as the Shroud comes through. And uh, he's going to try and perfect execution his way out. That ult needs a different name, though, for this game because it's been all sorts of crazy. Five-point strike to slow down Willer a little, but he will have the Vault Breaker back. Doesn't quite get that knock up as um, if he survives this, I would... Uh, okay, that was Bertle. He's all right. He doesn't break his stopwatch. He's a kill as well. Gets a little bit of extra gold as now Fiesta... He's, he's in trouble, guys. Uh, he has been for quite some time, but does have a picky with him this time. Cease and desist comes through. Does go golden, but is he actually going to be okay? Is the question the answer is no, because the cupcake is going to be too tasty. Nongshim just going to have to back away. Yeah, it has been quite uh, troubling, but if your 1 7 power spike theory yeah. is to be believed, maybe in 30 seconds here, the whole game state changes. Exactly. Um, at he's this point, got teleport. At Blank this, angle. At this point, I'm I'm leaning towards second item Zonia's on this Akali. Uh, uh, Nongshim uh, still trying to get some semblance of control back in this game, but uh, I think running your boar into the enemy is not going to do it. Unfortunately not, but he's just trying to get vision. You know, he's just trying to find out if they're doing this Baron. And unfortunately, he found out not yet. But now that he's dead, the answer is they will they will be doing it immediately afterwards. And there's just nothing that Nongshim can do about this. Dundin's off inside here and might be building a Zonia's third here. He has a stopwatch available. He's going for Shoujin's so he can team fight better. As, okay, hold All on. Right. We're just chasing after them. The Baron does go down. But what about this fight, guys? This is the fun stuff as Peter gets a big old shield. There's Meganar coming down, though. And Vital gets in the way. Oh, no. He gets thrown into the wall. Now Fiesta. Can you save Peter? The answer is no. That's a house to the head. And that one generally hurts as a rule. As uh, Fiesta's going to get out of there, presses R the second time. Oh, okay, hold on. TP, flank. Or that's not a flank, it's just Birdall coming back in. But I was going to say, Birdall, we talk a lot about his laning phase and sometimes how he panics there, but... All right. Okay. We'll see where the Nongshim are panicking now as Closer is going to get taken down extremely low. That was the wrong one, though, Fiesta. Whoa. As Closer somehow survives for way too long. Finally, Fiesta collects that kill. And now... Liv Sandbox is going to try and back away. Yeah. With the ultimate, gets an additional one, then goes back to that. It's okay. Yeah, well, in the meantime, uh, Bertle is about to hit Mega. And now the Vi is going to turn up as well. Fiesta diving on in. Winter's Wrath is good. Bertle's going to be taken down. That is a pickoff here for Nongshim. No, nothing to take on the map, right? As far as like an objective or anything like that. Nope. But they do get a kill on a Nah. Yeah. This game is so important for Live Sandbox to win, too, by the way, for their standings and Absolutely. playoffs. So I think that's why the nerves are coming through a little bit. Birdall's not afraid. Yep. And in fact, it was important for Live Sandbox to win 2 0, yeah. right? To, to take a, a look back. But now we need to see whether Vital can survive this. He's flashing. The chains are going to miss as Closer goes back. Birdall finds a decent little Nah there as, uh, okay, Peter's flashing. There's the Vault Breakers. Into the back line goes Dundon. Breaks his stopwatch Vital. now. But yeah, Kyle, he puts the cupcakes down, and now Vital's in there. Okay, he'll go down first, and Vital is now okay. Oh, Willa. Oh, dear. Now Bertle has to fight this Ezreal as well. Will these cues actually connect? He stands his ground as now Closer dives in one more time, and there goes... What? 
Uh, okay, well, there is the five point strike, and uh, he's dead again. Hurting his health bar, and then Burrow comes over. It's okay, there's too much happening on this map. Yeah, uh, Closer is just going to execute a Karma, trying to put wards down. I'm going to ban replays from this game. Yeah. Um, Actually, although, no one cares about what I want. <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, that, that game was. That, that, that whole fight, that whole situation that we saw is we do have Cloud Soul now collected. Um, all right. Nongshim, can you do it? Can you pull the rabbit out of a hat? As third inhibitor is so diff difficult to come back from. Stacking it up. They're still going to go for something here as they do manage to land the Glacial Prison onto Envy. He throws his ultimate the wrong direction as now Sylvie is trying to tank. Fiesta gets into the back line, but he's put on a chain. Goes golden in the end as Dundun gets into the back line. He finds himself the counter strike and then he goes golden. But Vital, can the follow up actually be there? Envy's going to lock down the kill. Ace in the hole onto Vital does a little bit of work there as Nongshim now limp back towards. Their last remaining turrets. Envy, sorry, Kyle, takes a fair bit of damage. True Shot Barrage, not going to land onto the Caitlyn, who would have surely died. And now Closer, looking Many to close minions. this one in. Oh, Envy locks it down. Okay, now Vital's Myrtle. still alive at full yeah. health. Vital's there, but I mean, there's an army of minions. These minions are just, there's just too many. He the can. Baron buff is buffing them as well, and Vital is having a battle with about everything. He finds himself caught in amongst a big old nah, and that is the Nexus going down. Live Sandbox will bring us to game three. If you don't have that many minions in that push, Vital's damage will eventually end the game. There's too many minions blocking his Qs, so, and he, he has, unfortunately, pretty poor wave clear, even with the Hydra, so he's just unfortunately unable to carry that final moment, but he tried his hardest. He was so close. It, yeah. And win in the late game, but also win in the mid game with the Lucian, with the Cassante that's not going to be able to link the mid-game Lucian power with some of that quirky package power into late-game quirky value. And Gazante is it just feels really disjointed in this draft in that way. I'm not entirely sure. I've kind of lost my mind this series. Let's hop onto the rip. It's game three. And the Azir hasn't won, like, at all this week. It's a, it's a worrying sign. Uh, but do continue. Yeah, I mean, some streaks could be broken. Yeah. As uh, Fiesta. Um, he may have to flat. Fla he may have to flat. I mean, if you trade the flash on the Wukong, you feel at least better about this. But that's not the butt wiggle that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. No, nope, it's a very different butt wiggle uh, yeah. on this patch. So if he's going to come up here, they're actually going to try to turn this into a potential gank. But still level three on this Y. How much damage can he get done? Dun -dun. There's the Nar expired. Yeah, well, he's uh, he's ghosting. Well, looking for this one. They jump into the wall. There it is. Clean. Smackdown. Love it. That was well played there with the charge and Vi coming through. And, and with a Q extension, maybe he's like, oh, he hits me anyways if I flash. He's scared of that. And just doesn't make the decision fast enough as uh, Sylvie. Sylvie. Uh -huh. Well, there is the uh, Blast Cone and Vault Breaker. Let's see where he actually decides to go. This is actually pretty cute. He was trying to get over that wall. You can't actually do that. This is an execute angle. How he got here is kind of the big question for me. And I really, you know, at this point, I just don't want to know. Yeah. I just don't want to know. I just, yeah, peaceful execution. Yeah, I like that. Between the turrets, like my mom always Wanted to go know. back anyway. <laughs> Wanted to go back anyway, man. As Envy taking some damage, as the bubble has to be flashed. Okay, that's okay. massive. Nicely done by Pito. Because they still have an Ignite here in this lane, and just one combo from Vital and another bubble hitting with no flash up, and that's a dead Zeri. You can see they're playing so aggressively here. Evan Flow value absolutely massive. Tycho's Blessing coming forward, but Peter is way too far up. That was just not If you're going to flash it, you got to hit the bubble, you know? And he flashed for it, and he didn't hit the bubble. Um, he's actually... Looking to find value elsewhere. Dindin. Another one. Okay, the uh, hop going to be used, but there's the ulti from Dindin. Brings him towards his own turret. He's now dashing around. That's a solo kill. Cassante apparently just not nerfed, man. Like, I don't know. Well, not when Dindin's playing it, as uh, Flash is used from Birdall, too, so this really hurts. Wheeler was coming over, but he's too slow. Package delivered. Emperor's Divide, but there's the cease and desist, and they dive on top. Nongshim have come alive. You just don't see. They got the Herald, You baby. could barely even say it. Yeah, no, it's, it <laughs> just comes up, it comes up on you fast. You it know? does. It comes it does. up quick. Well, this was also coming pretty quick, as well as the Tidal Wave is decent. Bubble's going to land this time, but... Yeah, Vital's just like, nope, I don't want anything to do with this. There's the flash out. Peter's going to speed himself up. And uh, I feel like I just watched this. Impressed. I just watched this exact exchange. This time, though, guess who's here? Sylvie's here. 
I didn't need to guess, I could see it. And so is Willa, so that is some, yeah, dead fish towards that bottom side. And now Sylvie's gonna have to try and break some vaults to get out of this one. Oh, slow? The, just the very edge of the Glitter Lance is going to come through, and uh, Envy's going to be able to grab some plates. A crazy Valkyrie mid, as we're gonna watch this one more time here in the top side. Yeah. Goes in here, gets the knock okay, up. Okay, they go. have the slow, actually, with that oh. Frostborn Gauntlet, or Iceborn Gauntlet. And uh, that's that. He's got Ghost, gets the flash too. During this back in mid, Poser's gonna try to grab a turret, Willer to block any punish. Well, Willer's just gonna engage onto the Vi here. Bubble is going to miss once again, and Cease and Desist comes forward. There's the tidal wave, but he's already dead, and now Fiesta has to Valkyrie to try and get himself out. Kyle and Willer, just the teamwork once again. These guys, they've been heroic, to be perfectly honest. They really have, and... Yeah, they do need to hit, and they don't have any big ones. There. One is just regen here. This is the opportunity they're looking for. Yeah, Closer gets into the back line, finds an Empress Divide. Where's the follow-up is the question as Envy is altered. Fiesta trying to get damage down. Bertle going down very low, but it's Dindin that's going to be able to get that first kill. Closer going to be taken out as well as Willa. Dindin's not going to be able to find the uh, the full win as Polymorph comes through. Tidal Wave in answer as Cease and Desist is going to come forward. Envy just diving on top of Fiesta and Peter. He finds the bubble this time as Fiesta has to get out of there as Vital. Not going to be able to find it. Envy somehow survives with about zero health. The Sand Soldiers are set up and it's a dead Lucian. Oh man, that's got to feel real bad. It doesn't matter because the Flash here or the Dlash, you could say, as Envy is a Dlasher. Um, yeah. He's just so clean. Look at how much damage he does, bubble hits. And then he sees the culling come out and he just instantly flashes back and survives with like 60 health. Crazy plays. Man, really this area is so hard. Well, I think Live Sandbox will be able to get over here, but can they actually win the fight is the question. Bertles Narbar is in a great position, but this ba this dragon is going down extremely quickly. Willa has definitely stolen other ones, is into the Team fight goes the Vi, who isn't going to be able to do too much. Empress Divide is massive, and Nongshim, I don't know what that was. They went all in on trying to kill Envy. They'll be able to do that, but the rest of Live Sandbox will fight back. That's the ace. It's not over till it's over, right? I mean, Baron spawns here in one minute. Dinda's yep. going to grab some bounty gold here. No inhibitors dead yet. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're staving off this pressure. There's the bounty gold. Yeah, Tidal Wave comes in. That's going to split the Red Sea, like you like to say, as Bertle finds the back line. Cease and Desist going to come forward so he doesn't have a good angle, and Sylvie is going to go down the flash. Gets him out of the way. Bertle yet to find a really big ultimate. They get the bad news, and Sylvie is seen. He's going to have to flash to get himself out of the way. Bertle immediately follows him. Blast Cone is now going to be taken away. Is now Envy possibly caught out, has to flash. There's the Cease and Assist, so can Nongshim get on top of him? The Cyclone is gigantic, but there's not a lot of follow-up. Envy's still going to be able to take down the Luchin, though. And yeah, I guess he has to get something done, but Envy's still alive fighting against Dundon. And he will be able to take him out. That's going to be the triple, and that should be the end of this one. Man. Live Sandbox find a beautiful team fight in the end. Yeah, Willer playing it so well, and that's the end of that. You can see some of the Nongshim players here having a bit of a chuckle. They know this was a close series, but ultimately not one they'll take. Willer big up in his team as he always does. That was his heroic play. Broke the stopwatch. He does die, but his Cyclone wins the game. And yeah. That's it. 2-1 victory here for Live Sandbox. Beautifully done. Peter is going to go down as a bit of a formality here as the uh, minions were already in position. The Nexus goes down, Live Sandbox. They take a difficult series over Nongshu. I just feel like, yeah, Willa definitely deserving, but I think that it's probably uh, either Envy or Closer, I guess. That is going to pick that one up. Fiesta did do the corky boom boom damage, um, but honestly, it wasn't really his day. Uh, Thank you very much, guys. We are here joined by a Closer and Willa for the PUG interview. Congratulations. You guys just picked up your eighth win of the season. How do you feel, Closer? Well, it's a bummer that we lost the first game, but I'm so happy that we were able to close out the series with a win. I was not feeling well today, so, you know, I'm so glad and relieved that we actually managed to get a win. And closer, now you are on the third place on the PUG standing with 700 PUG points. I'm not happy with my performance today, so I'm not sure if I actually deserve the PUG, but I'm so thankful that everyone voted for me. And I just want to say thank you to my teammates as well. Congratulations once again on hitting the second place on the PUG standings. And Wooler, we had the longest game of the spring split in game number one, and all three games were not 
not easy. Yeah, I mean, we were not able to put up the performance we were looking for. So, as a whole, it was not an ideal performance. And I'm, I mean, we did get a win, but still, it doesn't really feel like we actually got the win. And also, I think GP any comp was really hard to deal with. How did you kind of discuss this after losing game one? I mean, we started off the lane phase pretty well, so we were not too worried about it. As long as we don't make any mistakes, you know, we would be fine. So we just wanted to remove that in game number two. And then we were able to sh just, um, see a great performance in LeBlanc. You got three solo kills, you were dominating the lane, and this time around you took Airy and Ignite, which means you are strong in lane, but later in the game you will not be able to exert many pressure, but how are you able to overcome that? Well, if you are picking LeBlanc into Akali, winning the early game is so important, so you have to take Ignite. So, it's all about the early game, so I just wanted to go for the Ignite in order to get Pryo. And then, well, because of your performance, yeah, the opponent Akali was not having a great time, but they were also camping mid a lot together with the jungler. Yeah, I mean, you know, they were, you know, making a lot of actions around the mid lane, and I was aware of that, so I just wanted to, you know, match the tempo. I was also calling for my jungler as well. And then closer, you played Azir in game three. Well, Azir was sitting on an eight game losing streak so far. Were you aware of that? Not at all. So I guess you did not, you know, know about the win rate here in the current patch of Azir, but, you know, LCK was known for a very, you know, excellent Azir performance. However, right now, Azir is not having a great time. Why is that? So right now, the meta is all about having a lot of fights, skirmish, but Azir is not like that. Do you think it's also because of Annie coming back to the mid lane? Yeah, I think well, with the uprise of Annie, I think Azir has gone down the tier list. And Willer, so... In game 2 and 3, bottom duo was not having the best laning phase, but you are always there to help them out. Was that Envy and Kyle's call for help, or was that your own decision? I mean, even during, even after the pick and ban, you know, and even in screams, we know that this very Lulu, Lucia, and Nami matchup is really, really volatile. So any action can break out and then, you know, it can decide the entire game. So we were aware of this characteristic of this champion matchup. So I was able to kind of play accordingly. And you were able to get a POG on Wukong. This is your third POG on Wukong this season. Are you confident? Were you confident as soon as you locked in Wukong, you're going to win POG? Not actually, but I was pretty confident that I'm going to do a great job, though. And moving on, at the end of game three, Bordel actually said in the player comp, it was, I mean, I guess we all know that he was struggling a lot of, during the early game. So he was, you know, talking about the call choice. It was not the best idea. What actually happened? So I cannot really go into all the details, but so Birdle said, you know, if I go call, you know, I have less HP, which means I have to lane really well. I mean, he's been doing a great job of that during screams, but today he was not able to showcase that correctly, so I guess he was a little bit bummed about that. However, Leaf Sandbox in the end managed to get another win. Your next opponent will be Gwangdong Frix. How are you going to prepare for that series? I think Gwangdong Frix is really good at early game setup and their performance is looking pretty good. You know, they're on a decent momentum, so we have to be fully prepared for that match. Yeah, I've seen their recent matches a lot, and then I think they're doing a great job. Their performance is on point, so we have to be ready to go up against them. And closer, any final words for all the Lips and Bucks fans? Thank you for watching this such a close series, and thank you for your support, and next time we will get a clean 2-0. And this will be the end of the interview from Closer Wheeler from Lips and Bucks, and back to the space. Thank you.